Yeah <laughs> My number one Alexander Stan That's right Yeah Call Chris Take it Let's go Uh Hey, hey You're one in a million In my heart feeling love You're so brilliant Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make a basic installer with Visual Studio 2010. So you start by opening up your project, so I'm going to op open my C Sharp Hello World project, I've used this in the, in the modern tutorial. So here it is, as you can see. Right. So normally when you build an application and you have many DLLs you have to build it and put everything together. But that's very in handy because if you have like uh, 15 DLLs it you have to put them all together, you have to zip them um and it just becomes messy. So, and al it also takes some time to un unzip them. So, if you just make an installer, it installs them all to the same folder and you have no problems an anymore. And it also looks nicer. So, you go on your project on File, Add, New Project. You go on Other Project Types, Setup and Deployment, and you see Install Shield and Visual Studio Installer. So, I'm going to use Visual Studio Installer, so we just take Setter Project, not Wizard, because that's for noobs, not like us. So you type in a name. This name will appear on this exact name will appear on the install screen. So make sure it's uh, the name of the project. So here I see your project, and here is the installation installer. So you go and you right click on the installer, add project output, and you see here a few options. Um, I'm going to use primary output. So, okay. As you can see here, it added primary output for Hello World as active. So now we can build it. Build solution, build Hello World. Right, so now as you can see now in the installation folder on debug you will see you will get a .msi installer and .exe. I'm going to use the .exe because it looks nicer. And it's a bit smaller. So here you see the exact name as your project, hello world. Let me browse a bit. Okay. So here you see how much space it will take. On your on your hard drives. So as you can see it will take twelve KB on my G drive. So now we're going to install it and it, it will appear here. So this is just a simple application but if you have one with many DLLs it's very handy. So here is my application, it's installed successfully. So this was my tutorial, uh, thanks for watching and see ya.